Hey there friends, Nibs again. I'm out here goofing around in the garage today <clears throat> and uh, I thought I'd throw together another head-to-head -head challenge for you guys. I think this one is actually going to be pretty cool. Um, a couple of the older, really old guns in my out here in the collection. Um, this one I believe is probably the oldest air rifle that I have at the moment or air gun. It's not really a rifle, it's a smooth bore. But uh, this one is the Quackenbush number four, and this one shoots 22 caliber round balls. If you can look right there, you can see the the magazine full of the 22 caliber round balls, and uh, <clears throat> really a, kind of an oddball to put it up against. But uh, I think this will be a good uh, challenge. Um, this is my Daisy Model 100 or 101. Number 101, Model 36, sorry. I forgot exactly what I had here, but to make this a much fairer uh, matchup, <clears throat> I've done this in the past and I show this on the channel. Uh, actually using pellets in this daisy uh, gives it a lot better accuracy. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, I've got some, just some, well, they're Benjamin Discoveries, but they're basically just the Crossman Premier hollow points, the 10.5 greens. We use those with the Daisy and the uh, <clears throat> have Game O 22 caliber round balls in the uh, Quackenbush. And we'll go ahead. Um, <clears throat> I've got some Allen uh, Easy Aim targets. Uh, they have the same scoring rings as the the Birchwood Casey Shoot and Sees. Um, these ones, I, I don't care for how they indicate compared to the shoot and sees, but uh, they do the job. So we'll go ahead and uh, try that out. So one thing, so I, this 101 is, uh, even with BBs, is a muzzle loader. You got to load each BB or projectile individually. And uh, the BBs will roll down the barrel and get uh, lodged in there, but... And I did do a modification. I pulled the shot tube out and put a small uh, rare earth magnet on the end of the barrel. So when you drop a BB in, it won't slide back out or roll back out when you, uh, if you have to shoot down at an angle. <clears throat> but uh, with the pellets, I have to use a ramrod, my cleaning rod, to uh, make sure they get seated down in there fully. So, but this ought to be a, a fun little head to head challenge. And, uh, Let's go ahead and see what we can do. The Daisy. That was uh, high and left a little bit. The Daisy is a new, the newer comer to the garage by just a little bit. I got these both around the same time, but um, I do know that the Daisy came into the garage just a little bit, uh, <clears throat> a little bit. More recently, that's better. How do you guys like these head-to-head -head challenges I put together? They seem like a lot of fun. They're not my most popular videos, but you guys do. A lot of people do watch them. Seems like my review videos are, are more popular. But I like to I like to change it up and do different stuff and keep things a little bit a uh, little bit light and not try to be too serious out here. Other than that first shot being a little high and right there, it looks like it's uh, coming together pretty good. Pretty good score from this old smoothbore uh, daisy BB gun. <laughs> but it shoots these pellets really good. I have to do, so just kind of, it, it does, I do have to aim a little bit to the right, do a little Kentucky windage with it. There's no way to adjust these sights, but. When I just aim just a little right, right of the center uh, you can see how good of a job it does so but there is five shots from the daisy now let's go ahead and get the old quackenbush out so this quackenbush 
uh, by the serial number. It has a three digit serial number on it. So this was made in the early uh, 1880s. So pretty darn cool. So the way you cock this is you push the barrel in, uh, then you rotate this little dial right here and it will index one ball into the feeder here and then you push it forward again and then it'll drop down into the barrel and the last step very important you want to make sure you pull the barrel back out I've done this one time and luckily I didn't break anything but if you don't forget to pull that barrel back out when you pull that trigger the spring that's supposed to propel the projectile out will also propel the barrel right out of the gun and it went flying across the garage here and landed on the luckily it landed on the carpet that I have on the uh, outdoor carpet that I have on the floor here and didn't land on this uh, concrete This one seems to be shooting off to the left on me a little bit too. There's three. I did a little bit of Kentucky windage on that one just to try to Get some better score coming in here. I didn't see where that one hit. I'll have to review the tape. So that was five shots from both of those. Let me uh, pause the camera. I'll add that up and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty friends, I'm back. And uh, it was a pretty close matchup, but uh, the uh, Quackenbush had just a little bit of an advantage as far as the score goes and uh, it was it was uh, not a tie but it was very close so the uh, the daisy uh, where's the scores here seven ten eight uh, nine and eight so it had a 42 really good score and actually a really pretty decent grouping for a nice little smooth bore but the uh, the quackenbush even though he was a little more spread out, his score was better, and he ended up with a uh, 45. So really nice score from the Quackenbush. So both of these are smooth bore. Uh, I thought it'd be a really fair head-to-head -head challenge. Um, they're both similar in velocity. The Quackenbush is a little bit faster, from what I recall from my testing, but uh, but not by much. The with with a seven grain pellet the daisy was doing like 350 feet per second or somewhere in that neighborhood quackenbush was a little closer to two 400 i believe like 380s but uh not by much so there really are kind of a fair matchup i think um i probably ought to try some lead bbs uh in in the daisy and see what that would do but there you go a lot of fun uh fun little head-to-head -head challenge this uh, <clears throat> so this Daisy I didn't I don't think I said earlier but this is a uh, number 101 model 36 and this was only made between 1936 and 1942 <clears throat> and the the winner is the Quackenbush number four which is which is really cool I'm just blown away to have this in my collection but uh, this one is. Uh, Right around 1883, as best I could tell from uh, reading in the uh, the Quackenbush uh, firearms book that uh, was on loan to me. So, really cool, and uh, it was a lot of fun. So, anyway, hope you liked my video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Um, check out down below uh, my Amazon store. It's doing really good. A lot of people... Uh, <clears throat> taking advantage of that if you click on that link and stay logged in or not logged in but stay on that Amazon screen once you click on that link and do any shopping uh, I will get a uh, commission for anything you buy there somebody just recently bought a C362 Crossman 362 and uh, I'm kind of jealous I need to get one on one of those on order I've seen a lot of guys doing uh, reviews on them and they're great so but uh, anyway till next time have a great day.